Hi everyone, welcome back to The Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today's word is, God says, stop being mean to others. It will come back to you one day. Sometimes we like to be mean towards people and we think that it will never hit us because we rich or we have more money or we look better or we may have more than other people. You have to stop being mean to people because one day it's going to hit you when you least suspect it. And I want to say to you, I know how it feel. And I'm going to tell y'all something. This is a true story. I remember when I was in school, people made fun of me. But when they seen me move up, guess what? Oh, can you help me with my class? Can you help me with this? And guess what? They regret what they did towards me because some of them didn't graduate. Some of them stayed back or some of them just dropped out of school. So the Bible verse I want to read to you is Galatians 6 and 7, and it reads, Do not be deceived. God is not mocked for whatever one sow that will be also reaped. So I want you to know whatever you do towards people, you want to pay attention to how you treat people because one day it will hit you back. You got to learn how to treat others how you want to be treated. If you want to be treated with love, if you want to be treated with happiness, if you want to be treated with respect, you have to put that energy out towards people. I don't want people to be mean to me, so I have to treat people nice. So the way you treat people, is it goes a long way. Trust me, it goes a long way. That's how some people had got a job. Some people had got certain things in life because it's how you treat others. So please treat others the way how you want yourself to be treated. You know, if you made some mistakes, repent, give it to God and allow God to work on your heart and say, Lord, change my heart, change my mind, because I want to learn how to treat people with respect. God know what you're going through. And I just want to say, realize that you're not perfect, but if you did something towards somebody, you know, repent and just ask God to forgive you. We're not perfect and God know we're not perfect. He know that we're going to make some mistakes. If you know that you hurt somebody right there and then, apologize. Don't just walk away and say, oh, my bad. Just say, oh, I'm sorry about what I said. It's about, you know, the respect. Like if you call somebody fat and you skinny or, you know, you making fun of somebody weight or you making fun of something, don't do that towards people because it hurts. You know, it hurts others. So just treat people with respect. Don't be mean. Don't be disrespectful. Just learn how to treat others the way how you want to be treated. If you want to be treated with love, happiness, you know, respect, put that energy out and watch what God do for you. You will be blessed in the long run. So I just want to say continue to be encouraged, stay focused, and just realize the way you treat others, it can go a long way. It can go a long way. So treat each other with respect and know that God will bless you and God will do more for you. Stop being mean. This is somebody confirmation like you got to stop being mean. You want God to help you to get that job. You want God to help you do things, but you being wrong to other people. So repent, you know, if you're doing something wrong towards people, repent and ask God to change your mind, change your heart. Because as you get older, as you grow with Christ, God wants you to learn how to respect people. That's why God tell us in his word, do you know, don't be, you know, deceived. You know, sometimes we have the wrong company. We around the wrong company. We got to watch our friends. We got to watch the people we hang with because the people we hang with, we start to act like them. So repent and turn away from those sins, turn away from those people that you're around and ask God to work on you and he will, you know, repent now while you have a chance and just say, Lord, fix my mouth, fix my heart, change me and just make me new in you and he will. So I just want to say, remember to have a blessed, beautiful day, be encouraged, stay focused and watch what God do for you. I love you. Have a great, beautiful day. Be encouraged. Stay blessed. Thank you for watching. Don't give up. Pray about all things. Have a great day.